Hit that jive jack Put them in the pocket till I get back Going downtown to see a man I wanted to talk about cryptocurrency today due to the market being so volatile and so low. I keep hearing a lot of people saying they're done with crypto, they're giving up on it, you know, so on and so forth, right? So I've been buying it nonstop since it was at its all-time high. I buy it every week, right? So what I'm trying to explain to you guys, the people that are, you know, fearful of it or scared of it or say, you know, they don't want nothing to do with it. Think about it like this. It's the same as a stock. When a stock is down, it's on sale, right? So you want to buy something when it's cheap versus when it's high. Because what a lot of people do is when Bitcoin is at its highest it's ever been, everybody wants to go and buy it, buy it because they think it's going to keep going. So now that crypto is low, you know, it was at 60000 Now it's at like 19000 Everybody's afraid and they panic. They don't buy it or they sell what they have or whatever. When it should be the opposite. Right now is the time to buy because the most millionaires are made during a recession. And we're pretty much in a recession at the moment due to, you know, inflation and everything rising, food, gas, etc. So right now is the perfect time to be buying assets, you know, crypto stocks, houses, besides the fact of, you know, the interest rate on houses being a little higher. But you want to buy when stuff's on sale. Like if you went to a store, right, and your favorite pair of shoes were 50% off, you'd buy them, right? But how come when Bitcoin's 50% lower than it's usually, you get scared, you don't want to buy it. You get, what I'm, you get where I'm going with this? And you got to look at this as a long-term thing. Like, that's how I look at it. I look at I'm holding this for the next, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years in the future. And I think crypto is going to be a big part of our internet and our society. So, um, I thought it'd be, it was very important for me to hop on here and, you know, give you my, my opinion, a little advice. <clears throat> Um, so I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a random guy on YouTube. So let's get that out of the way now. You definitely want to, you know, check with a professional before you do anything. But I just feel like when something is at a low price like that, it's the time to take advantage of it. It's when you're going to make the most money, right? Because Bitcoin at the moment is at 19, 20,000. When it goes back to where it was at 60 and you say you put a thousand dollars in there, you're going to triple your money. That thousand is going to turn into 3000. Or if you put ten grand in there, that ten thousand dollars you put in today, whenever it gets back to sixty grand, maybe this year, next year, that ten thousand dollars is now going to be thirty thousand dollars. If it keeps going, it's going to you know keep going and going and going and going. And I watch a lot of guys, you know, um, the guy off of Shark Tank, he's very heavily invested in the cryptocurrency. He estimates within the next ten years, one Bitcoin will be worth half of a million dollars. Guaranteed. He says eventually, within the next 15 years, a Bitcoin will be worth $1 million. So he says if you own at least one Bitcoin and you hold it, you are guaranteed to be a millionaire. And this is a guy that's been around finance and investing his whole entire life. It's the guy off Shark Tank. Can't think of his name at the minute, but... Um, so when I hear these guys talk about that, it just gives me hope, you know, that... One day, crypto is definitely going to be part of our society. So I keep investing in it, investing in it, investing in it. <clears throat> I also own stocks. Like I own a Roth IRA. I have stocks and, you know, stuff like that in there. And then I have an annuity at my job, which our annuity is in the stock market, right? So everything stock market crypto is all down at the moment. So now is the perfect time to start buying. So I suggest, you know... You start doing your homework, do your research, you do due diligence, and go out and buy. If you don't already have or never have bought any assets such as stocks or crypto, there's a lot of platforms. There's you know Robinhood, there's Gemini, there's um, 
You can use Ally Bank for like your Roth IRAs. You got um, Fidelity. There's so many different platforms. Just go on YouTube and, and, and look them up. You know, and find the best one you think is a good fit for you. Now, my opinion, I think for beginners, Robinhood is a great start for beginners. It's very simple. It's broken down. It's kind of dumbed down to our level. If you're not advanced in investing yet or you don't know the terminologies, Robinhood is a very good place to start. But um, I definitely, definitely, definitely hope you guys take this advice and start investing in cryptocurrency. It's eventually going to lead the internet. It's not, here's where people make the mistake, it's not just the currency. It's actually part of the internet. It's an internet algorithm. Ethereum is an algorithm on the internet. A Bitcoin, right, is an algorithm on the internet. Chainlink, that's another cryptocurrency. It's an algorithm on the inter internet. Chainlink, the name in itself. Chainlink, it links a bunch of companies together to be able to transfer money from one company to the other with a avoiding banks and all the bank fees and stuff like that, right? So instead of going from, let's say we're buying something from China and it's coming to America, we got to go from a Chinese bank to an American bank. We got to pay a fee to change the currency from Chinese currency to United States currency. With Chainlink, you don't do that. You, you literally go from Chinese chain link cryptocurrency that got the person in China or the bank in China sends it directly to the business in the United States. There's no middleman, so you don't pay any fees and it's instant. So that's why I think, not think, but I know, you know, wholeheartedly that crypto is definitely going to be a big, big thing in our future, in our kids' futures. So uh, I wanted to hop on here and just make this video because I've been hearing a lot of people down it lately and stuff like that. So Take my advice. I hope y'all do, and uh, hopefully it, you know, it makes you some money, it makes you a millionaire one day. If you hold on tight, hold on for some years. Don't be a short-term thinker. Be a long-term thinker. Don't think about you know the next couple months, the next year. Think 10, 15, 20 years down the road, and that's where the wealth's built. For example, Warren Buffett. When Warren Buffett, night, I think it was uh. 1957, Warren Buffett's net worth was only $120,000. 13 years later, Warren Buffett's net worth went from $120,000, 13 years later, to um, $25 million, right? 11 years after that, went from $25 million to $300 million. Then 10 years after that, went from $300 million to um, $752 million. Then, 10 years after that, when he was 80 years old, it went from that to $3 billion. Now, he's in his 90s, and I think Warren Buffett's net worth is around, almost around $200 billion. It's like $199 billion. You might as well say $200 billion. So, Warren Buffett's process was slow and steady. He did it over a period of you know 40, 50 years. When he was when Warren Buffett was 38 years old, his net worth was only $120,000. So if you're in your 30s and you're like, oh, I'm not a millionaire yet, or I don't have this much money, Warren Buffett is one of the richest men in the world. When he was 38 years old, his net worth was only $124,000. You can look it up. You can Google it. So. That the reason I'm telling you this is, it takes time. You got to look down the, the down the you know the long run. Don't be a short term thinker. I appreciate y'all watching my videos, and I'll see y'all next time.